A very wonderful morning to my esteemed listener. I am Yemi Graceman Adulodu, lead pastor, Lighthouse International Christian Center, Samanda UI Road, Ibadan, Nigeria, welcoming you to today's edition of our program, Daily Impact. This wonderful Monday morning, I want to pray that the God of heaven will cause heaven to open upon your life, upon your destiny, upon your business, and upon all that you do, heavens will open upon your life and you will prosper in all your endeavors. The Bible says you shall be like a tree that is planted by the rivers of waters. You will bring forth your fruit in your season and whatever you do shall produce results. All that you do will produce results in the precious name of Jesus. I am praying for you that the hand of the Lord will rest upon you to prosper you in all your ways. All your ways shall be prosperous. And I am praying for you this week and always. You will walk your way safely and you will not stumble in the name of Jesus. I am praying for the breath of the Almighty God upon all your endeavors. The breath of the Almighty will bring life to all that you do this week. Your life, your business will produce amazing results. The kind of results you have never produced, you have never recorded since 2024 started. You will record it this week. Favor will locate you this week. Help will locate you this week. Of the fullness of the grace of Christ Jesus our Lord, the Lord will fill you with grace for grace in the name of Jesus. I declare by the help of the Almighty and by the Spirit of the Almighty God, help will locate you this week. The Spirit of God will bring help into your life, will bring help your way in the name of Jesus. You will not stumble this week. You will not fail. You will not fall. You will not fall up. I pray. Those who are waiting for your shame shall be put to shame. Those who are waiting for you to fall will wait in vain. You will stand firm. You will not fall. Those who are expecting you to fall will fall. Those who are expecting you to fail will fail. You will not fall. You will not fail. You will keep standing. And the glory of the Lord shall be seen upon your life and upon your destiny. In the name of Jesus, I pronounce the prosperity of your hands, the prosperity of your endeavors, the prosperity of all that you do in the precious name of Jesus. Every door you knock this week will open for you in the precious name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. God will send you angels in the form of men and men in the form of angels. Your long-awaited expectations will arrive this week in the precious name of Jesus. You will step into greater glory. That is the promise of God for your life. You will arise, you will shine because your light has come and the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. Darkness may cover the earth, gross darkness may cover the people, but the Lord will arise upon you and upon your life, God's glory will be seen. I declare this week your week of answers, your week of testimonies, your week of progress, your week of advancement, your week of results. In the name of God the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' precious name, Amen. This is the week of the 18th anniversary celebrations of Lighthouse International Christian Center. As a matter of fact, the programs of events start tomorrow. And these programs start tomorrow. We begin to receive to, uh, the blessings of God from the choice servants of God that God himself has prepared to bless us this year. And so I'd like you to please pay attention. In Acts of the Apostles, chapter number five, the counsel of Gamaliel, uh, the teacher, the doctor of the law, is very instructive. And it was the experience, it has been our experience in Lighthouse. And I am praying it will be your experience also. Gamaliel told the council, hear what he said to them. He said in verse 38 of the book of Acts, chapter five, and now I say unto you, refrain from these men and let them alone. For if this counsel or this work be of men, it will come to naught. But if it be of God, verse 39, you cannot overthrow it, lest aptly ye be found even to fight against God. I am here to declare upon your life, upon your destiny, and upon your business that no man will be able to fight against it because it is ordained of God. Your life is ordained of God. Your destiny is ordained of God. So 
I am challenging and speaking against every power incensed against you to hands off. Let them hands off your life and your destiny. I command them to let you alone. This program you are embarking upon that you are doing is not merely human. You have the backings of the Almighty. And so, whoever attempts to overthrow you or to overthrow the purpose of God for your life will be fighting against God. So God will fight against such a person. What am I saying? Whoever is fighting against you in the assignment, the project that is in your hand, God will fight against them. He will fight against those who are fighting against you. It will be adversary to those who are your adversaries in the name of Jesus. So understand, my life is in God's hand. My project, my purpose is ordained of God. Therefore, no man can fight against it. Whoever is fighting against my life, my destiny, my program, my project is fighting against God. Nobody can fight against God and overcome God or win. So whoever is fighting against you will have himself to blame. For 18 years, God has been a strength. He has been a backbone. He has been a support. He has strengthened and helped us. And because this project is of God, he has kept us going and is still keeping us on by the power of his spirit. And whoever attempts to overthrow us or to fight us will be fighting against God. And nobody can fight against God and win. You must also note number two, God did not deliver us to the will of our enemies. And he will not deliver you to the will of your enemies in the name of Jesus. There were enemies, there were people who waited, who anticipated and who actually said that in six months we would have packed up. And so God, in his infinite mercy and grace, has kept us beyond six months, beyond six years. This is the 18th year, and we give him all the glory. We acknowledge that this is the doing of the Lord in our lives. It is marvelous in our eyes. What God is doing is marvelous. It's beyond us, beyond our ability, beyond our wisdom, beyond our skill or strength or stamina. This is purely God's doing. And we are grateful to this eternal God who has not delivered us to the will of our enemies. The Lord will not deliver you to the will of your enemies. And the Lord will cause the expectation, negative expectations concerning you to fail. Negative expectations concerning you will fail. Negative expectations concerning your business, concerning your family will fail. The counsel of the Lord alone will be done in your life. And the name of the Lord will be glorified in the precious name of Jesus. So step out by faith this morning. Heaven is open already upon your life, upon your family, upon your business, upon your endeavors. The heavens are open. You will see the hand of God in a very great way. You must also understand your life is in God's hand. Your endeavor, your project, your purpose is God ordained. Therefore, no man will be able to stop it. If it is not of God, it will fail. But because it is ordained of God, it will not fail. And whoever attempts to fight against you, to fight against your dream, your interest, will be fighting against God. And God will destroy such a one. You must also note, as you step out today, you will not be delivered to the will of your enemies. Also understand, negative expectations of the people concerning you will fail. And you will move from glory to glory, from height to height, from grace to grace from blessings to blessings in the name of Jesus. And so shall it be in Jesus' precious name. I pray that the Lord will not deliver you to the will of your enemies. I pray that the counsel of the Lord for your life and your family will be established. God's counsel and purpose for you will stand. His name in your life will be glorified. I pray that this week you will operate under an open heaven and that everything you lay your hands upon to do this week will prosper. Nothing will die in your hands. Your dream will speak eloquently. God will give a voice to your vision. He will give a voice to your dream. And his name will be honored. His name will be exalted in the precious name of Jesus. I pray you will not be delivered to the will of your enemies. And I pray that every negative expectation concerning you will fail woefully, will fail totally in the name of Jesus. You will get to the place that God has destined for you. You will surpass the height in the name of Jesus. You will surpass expectations of people concerning your life and destiny 
in the precious name of Jesus. I declare this week is a week of prosperity and blessings for you. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we have prayed. Amen. Don't forget, the 18th anniversary program starts tomorrow. Join us at the Light Cathedral, 5.30 p.m. every evening and 12 noon on Wednesday. Sunday is the grand finale. 7.30 a.m. School of the Spirit holds and by 8.20 there about worship service commences. The Lord bless you as you attend. You may wish to join our anniversary program on any of our social media platforms on Facebook at LICCNG1, on Twitter at LICCNG, and on YouTube at Lighthouse International Christian Center. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on other social media platforms. My handle is at Yemi Grace Man. Forward this message and share the link with your contacts until I come your way again tomorrow for another exciting edition of our program. I am Yemi Grace Man at Duloju, wishing you a very glorious week and the Lord bless you.